Volodymyr Putin has been, so to speak, poking at what he considers Ukraine's weak spots, the Donetsk Donbass region, Crimea, and Transcarpathia. Now, we are all aware of what has transpired in Crimea and in the Donetsk Donbass region. But what about Transcarpathia? In early November 2014, Paul Goebel, a commentator for the Jamestown Foundation, which is that influential think tank in the United States, wrote a blog entitled, and I quote, Moscow using Budapest to put Rusins in play against Kiev. In other words, Russia's off and on interest since the outset of the 21st century in the so-called Rusin question in Transcarpathia has taken a new turn. Cooperation with the present right-wing oriented government of Hungary under that country's Prime Minister, Viktor Orban. In essence, both Putin and Orban are products of their respective country's historical past. And each sees himself as the instrument to fulfill his country's destiny. Now, in the case of Putin, it is Eurasian Russia, which would obviously include, from the Russian perspective, Little Russia or Ukraine. In the case of Orban, it is historic Hungary. That is Hungary before its dismemberment by the Treaty of Trianon in 1920. Pre-Trianon Hungary included territory in every country that borders present-day Hungary, uh, namely uh, southern Slovakia, Transylvania, Vojvodina in Serbia, the Burgenland in Austria, Transcarpathia in Ukraine. And like Putin, Orban considers that it is Hungary's right, it is Hungary's duty, to protect ethnic Hungarians living in those countries. In other words, in Hungary's new abroad, or near abroad, this includes the 150,000 or so Hungarian minority concentrated in southern Transcarpathia. And as part of this truly unexpected Hungarian-Russian mutual geopolitical interest, both Putin and Orban's policy advisors have been playing the Carpathorusen, Carpathorusen card, if you will, or exploiting Ukraine's Rusin question.